What knowledge will Canada need to thrive in an interconnected, evolving global landscape? Canada's future in this um, era of globalization is very promising. We played a very significant role in economic and financial integration. That is uh, a world we helped to build. Now, dealing with them means that Canada will continue to change. Now, does it mean that we lose control over our destinies? No, it means that we have a role to play in steering the global economy. To even imagine a world where we're not benefiting from globalization is uh, impossible. I can't, I can't imagine it. Whether it is the issue of Aboriginal peoples, women's studies, human rights studies by lawyers, human rights gains, the implementation of the international conventions on the rights of children, women, migrants, etc., researchers need to rely on foreign material. I think one of the things that I really try to emphasize is how much we have to pay attention to how Canada is changing really quickly from a socio-demographic point of view. Uh, that relates both to the fact that Canada has a relatively low fertility rate or birth rate. Uh, it relates to the fact that we get a lot of newcomers coming to Canada. More and more countries are moving into what you could call a demographic deficit. And I think we have, are making a good uh, pathway towards resolving those issues through our quite vigorous immigration program. It's important for so many reasons that we continue to adapt and change. One of those reasons is economic. Uh, how are we going to connect to world markets? if we don't understand the diversity of how cultures operate in the world. Canada is a scale of a society where I think change can actually happen effectively. Research for a better tomorrow. Join the dialogue today.